Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. yes, I can hear you very clearly. Okay, thank I you. think you're getting my audio very late. So now it's in pace. Okay. Okay. So good evening, everyone here, and uh, we welcome you to the third day of the stress management workshop. We welcome you to the third day of the stress management workshop on behalf of the Found Educational and Psychological Research Center and Elopon Counseling Center. So today we have our resource persons, Dr. Jan Sipriya and Dr. Preeti Nyana. The first session will be on psychotherapeutic approach by Dr. Jan Sipriya. She is an assistant professor at Meston College of Education, Chennai. She has got 10 years of experience in teaching. She has postgraduated in different subjects like maths, psychology, counseling and psychotherapy, statistics, and she has got her PhD in education. Her special areas are educational psychology, educational research, methodology, and educational technology. She has published more than 50 articles in national and international journals, and she has also published her articles in social media. She has also been resource person for many webinars and workshops. We are very glad to have you here, ma'am. And now I hand over the session to you, please. Take thank over. you, thank, thank you, Dr. Chandra, madam, for your wonderful introduction about me, and I also thank uh, to share my thoughts on uh, uh, stress management. Shall we? I think you're getting my audio very late. Unmute and talk. Shall I start? Here you ma'am. Please, since I'm on full screen, I'll not be able to see all of you there. You're okay. Please proceed. A special focus on gestural therapy. So let me start with a little bit introduction about psychotherapy. So the psychotherapy is also called as talk therapy or just a plain therapy. And it is a process whereby uh, psychological problems of the clients are treated through communication and uh, no, uh, we'll be trying to explore the relationship factors. Uh, no, it will happen between the uh, client and the trained mental health professionals. So psychotherapists, they use variety of techniques in order to help the patients with uh, stress-related factors, relationship-related factors, and other uh, such kind of mental health issues. Uh, this also includes the techniques uh, like uh, communication, behavioral conditions, and uh, therapists also see which method, which technique best suit suitable to the patients uh, to improve their quality of living and mental state. So psychotherapy is basically a very effective method of treating psychological issues. And I also want to give a brief uh, differences between uh, the psychotherapy and counseling. Uh, some experts, the experts uh, they say that uh, the two professions are actually overlapping and some say that there is no to little difference between these two professions and many counselors and uh, nowadays they started to learn a lot of therapies and they also practicing uh, the psychotherapy but uh, I wanted to give some um, uh, uh, some idea what is the difference between these two so when we consider the length of the therapy uh, counseling it may take six to eight sessions uh, but for psychotherapy, it takes several months. And counseling is only for the people who can resolve their own problems, but uh, uh, they need some guidance, or some assistance from the specialist or therapist or counselors. Whereas psychotherapy is for the people who are having long-term and deeper issues like mental health disorders and conditions. And counseling helps a person to change behavior in current situation, whereas uh, psychotherapy helps to release the reasons. See, I'm behaving in, uh, in such a way in this particular situation. I behaved in the same way in uh, uh, some other situation also. What made me to behave, uh, behave this way? What is the reason? 
so once if i realize the reason for my behavior uh if the behavior is not desirable then i uh, i try to change uh, on my own okay that uh, uh help will be provided by psychotherapy so psychotherapy is known to go deep into the particular matter in order to reveal the root that the causes that related or disturbed perspective of life so some clients get benefit from counseling and some uh, people may get benefit from psychotherapy so each of these specialties have different approaches now let me uh, move on to different forms of psychotherapy you can go to the third slide i think second slide chandra madam next next okay these are the different forms of psychotherapy the first one is psychodynamic therapy this therapy is not focusing on behavior that is uh, it tries to understand our mental process and emotional process it it tries it tries to interpret the mental and emotional process uh, the psychodynamic therapist here attempts to help the clients to find the patterns in their emotions uh, patterns in their thoughts and beliefs they try to gain insight into their current situation current self and the next one is cognitive behavior therapy this one is very familiar uh, psychotherapeutic treatment that everyone might have heard of this so this helps the person to identify and change the destructive or disturbing patterns or disturbing pattern of thoughts disturbing pattern of emotions so it uh, uh, help every one of us to change the unhelpful or unhealthy ways of thinking feeling or behaving so it helps to change the unhealthy ways of thinking feeling and behaving uh the next one is a uh, dialectical behavioral therapy it is evidence based psychotherapy uh it is uh, it is helpful for treating the person with a borderline personality disorder mood disorders suicidal person with suicidal thought can be helped with this uh, therapy or uh, it, it can help to change the behavior patterns such as self harm or uh, substance abuse uh, like that and the, the another uh, therapy given here is humanistic therapy so humanistic therapy here they try to uh, make the person to understand their true self so that they can lead the most fulfilling life here they have the principle that everyone has their own unique way of looking at the world everyone's perception about the world is different so if two persons are looking at the situation or observing the situation uh, the way they process that, uh, that information in their mind may be different they may not come out with the same idea so each one is different this humanistic therapy is emphasizing on this and it is also helpful for treating the schizophrenia depression anxiety relationship related issues personality disorders and the one is interpersonal therapy it is for treating the depression so interpersonal from the word itself uh, it says that uh, the relationship between uh, uh, between uh, the other person and the world other people uh, between me and the other also it is uh, it is based on the idea that personal relationship or the center of the psychological problem so it only deals with the uh, problems related to relationship okay now let me uh, go into gestalt uh, therapy uh, let me give uh, uh, just a little bit of information about the origin of gestalt approach it was actually formed by german psychologists uh, fritz and laura perl in the year 1940 Uh, many of you may may be knowing that what the word gestalt mean actually the gestalt is a german word it means organization whole shape configuration or pattern so in german it related to overall appearance of a person and their totality so uh, when we take uh, the word gestalt in therapeutic sense it means that person's organization of own thoughts behavior through observing and having relationship with others so that is what a uh, little bit introduction about uh, the origin of gestalt approach and when it comes to gestalt therapy this approach recognizes that self awareness so we are getting about ourselves can be blocked by our negative thought patterns so our negative thought pattern can uh, make us feel dissatisfied and unhappy so uh when we are dissatisfied and unhappy we cannot uh, no uh, we can uh, we we cannot uh, explore our true self so the main focus of gestalt therapy uh is on the client's ability to be aware of their own self that is the main uh, focus of gestalt therapy this therapy is experiential 
okay it makes a, a, a client or uh, the patient to actively participate in the therapy it uses different therapeutic methods and techniques like you know, uh, meditation and mindfulness all these practices uh, they were doing and gestalt is highly positive and practical interrogative therapeutic approach here uh, practitioners focus on immediate thoughts person's immediate feeling person's immediate behavior they are giving more focus on uh, self awareness they are giving more focus on present situation uh, here and now experience only they are focusing so when you increase your uh, awareness about yourself you will find new perspective you see uh, things in bigger picture then uh, then focusing on uh, specific matters will be look at the end a picture of the event entire picture of the stressful situation and we can figure out where uh, the mistakes uh, might have happened so here the client is encouraged to uh, focus on present moment as i said earlier here and now living situation current relationship okay exploring uh, how the present is affected by past affected past also taken into account but uh, the main idea is the the person should not dwell in their past experience alone they have to live the present so that is the main idea about this gestalt therapy here uh, uh, the person's belief values their cultural background their their spiritual and religious beliefs their goals dreams their aspirations aims and everything uh, are uh, given uh, good respect they all taken into consideration they are given more respect in gestalt therapy so what is self in gestalt therapy so uh, when the self exist when there is no other there is no self if only me then there there won't be any self if i could interact with other person then only i i'll react i have some behavior i can understand myself so without other there is no self how one experience others is inseparable from how one experience oneself if i am not able to experience others then it means that i am not able to experience myself so self does not exist without others and self is connected to others through relationships when self is explored within the therapy the person feelings the person's emotions in relationship to others the person experiences and uh, identification of self all these are explored in uh, gestalt therapy so how these things are explored the techniques and methods i'll explain later and the next is gestalt present awareness so gestalt places a major emphasis on gaining an awareness of present moment gaining an awareness of present context through therapy people can learn to discover feelings that uh, might may have been suppressed okay they can discover needs their emotions that uh, that were previously suppressed and or not not acknowledged that may come to the surface in the process of gestalt therapy so that the person gains a new sense of self and uh, he gets uh, opportunity to uh, completely aware of himself so the fundamental principle of gestalt approach is focusing on the present connecting with present fully can bring a sense of full acceptance or whatever is happening to the person so focusing too much on the past or too much on the future if you uh, focus too much on the past that definitely going to give you pain and you cannot uh, uh, you, you won't be having time to explore yourself when you are uh, thinking too much of, about your future it is definitely going to give you anxiety okay here i would like to tell a small story uh, uh, this the story is about uh, a gardener uh, uh, there was a king uh, that king he, uh, he he is very much fond of flowers rose especially rose so wherever he goes whichever country he goes he goes and uh, you know collect uh, different varieties of flowers different colors different texture different pattern of flowers only rose plus he used to collect and uh, he ha has made a big garden that is far away from his palace so he kept a gardener to take care of that uh, garden rose garden 
so uh, uh, the gardener was uh, no he he was taking care of everything he was pouring water he he was uh, making small small um, no uh, he, he used to cut the stems of the rose then he used to plant it everywhere new plants and all that he was doing in the garden and uh, every day when he cooks and eats the gardener when he cooks and eats in the afternoon uh, the, the monkeys um, which were staying there they used to come and the gardener he also used to uh, give some uh, uh, some food to the monkeys and uh, the things were going like this and one uh, one time there was a festival in the kingdom and uh, the festival was for 5 days so in that situation the gardener was able to go and attend that festival for 5 days because if he uh, left uh, if he is leaving these plants unattended uh, they all you know they all die by the time after 5 days if he is not pouring water to the plants it will die so he was very sad and that day he didn't uh, prepare food but for the lunch time as usual the monkeys came uh, they came and uh, uh, were looking at the gardener for food and the gardener was able to provide food and he was looking very sad so the monkeys asked what happened why are you so sad uh, since it is a story i'm just keeping like monkeys are talking uh, they are asking the gardener why you're not uh, why are you looking so sad and why you didn't prepare uh, food Uh, he said um, see uh, there is a festival uh, for 5 days and everyone my family everyone is going and attending but i cannot go uh, by leaving this garden just like this uh, then the monkey said oh, oh just pouring water that we can do so you have provided food all these days i'll uh, we will help you so you can go and enjoy by the time you come we will be taking care of all this so that uh, believing the uh, monkey is the gardener went went out to attend the festival uh the monkeys they took all uh, all they took bucket full of water and they were about to pour one monkey asked uh, the elder one uh, that um, how much water we need to pour to all the plants uh but uh, uh the uh, the gardener uh, the 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 small monkey uh, the intelligent monkey it asked uh, the elder monkey uh, how much water is required for the uh uh each plants because one plant is looking very small another plant is look very you know very tall it has lot of flowers uh and the, there are small small stems every day so we have no idea about how much water to be poured and another monkey said we can plug each plant we can see the root so based on the size of the root we can pour water that that was the uh, explanation given by another monkey so they found oh this is good idea so we can plug each uh, flower uh, each plant and we can see the root size of the root based on that we can pour water so that is how uh, what will happen if we plug the plant the plant will die automatically right so that is how things are happening in our life we are not living in the present situation we are you no know, digging out the past every time we are digging out the past dwelling in the past of course the water is required for for the plant okay if we put very less water also the plant will die if we put more water also the plant will die if we give more emphasis to our past then also our present die if we give less emph- uh, emphasis to our past uh, past events in our life that also uh, spoil our present life so the past will definitely to give a pain but we get lot of learning okay it is uh, it is uh, it is the amount of water we need to pour so whenever there is a learning from the past we can take it but we should not dwell only on the past that gives pain more stress to us so uh, in uh, in gestural therapy here we center on here and now moment of experience okay uh, this is not to deny that experience has its roots in the past in the past um, actually we we are not uh, i'm not here to tell you that we should completely ignore the past or ignore the future but we have to we should be having idea uh, what concept from the past should be taken and we should not much worry about the future we cannot uh, no we will be just imagining we we just ima- imagining something about the future that won't be real okay what happens next we have no clue okay uh, so we should not rely on past and future we should live in this present moment that is the one of the uh, primary focus of the gestalt therapy uh, so 
uh and so most of us what we are doing we are carrying a baggage you know all dirty things whatever happens you know in family or at the workplace we are uh, keeping all unwanted things in our uh, in our uh, mind and we are keeping and we are keep on thinking about that and we are spoiling our health and we are spoiling our mental uh, physical health as well as the mental health also uh but another example i want to give if you feel fever high temperature in your, in your body how you can feel only when you have uh, experienced the normal temperature of your body so definitely past is important but if you completely uh, no uh, living the present that gives you uh, uh, you know good relief from unwanted things so living in the present actually helps us to deal with the anxiety related to the future if you can live completely in the present moment so uh, the future anxiety can be reduced you can work for the future if you live completely in the present you can plan you can work everything for the future simply thinking about the uh, future uh, no without doing anything that spoils your present moment so that also must be uh that also uh, emphasis in gestural therapy so the more you attend to the present the more you will be living in the present you will be free from suffering the more you attend to the present and the more you will be living in the present you will be free from suffering so in gestural therapy when the client or the patient are uh, asked to uh, talk about their problem no uh, the therapist they ask to talk in present tense by using i statement okay so the next concept is the concept of profound respect see here uh, uh, the respect to the self the views of the client uh, the attitude towards the world the views and opinions the attitude the clients having about the world about other people about the self are highly respected so uh, it also respect that each individual has their own pace of healing and growing okay we cannot rush to solve the problem of a person each one is different each one can progress uh, uh, the therapeutic ideas given to them uh, in a different a pace so uh, we have to give them a pace to heal and grow we have to respect the client's feelings uh, for example if i can say that uh, if uh, one client or uh, your your husband or your wife or your child comes and says that oh i missed uh, this particular pencil i'm so sad because i i missed that pencil it was gifted my by my friend or it was given to me by my friend i missed it i'm feeling so sad we cannot go and say we should not say that oh it's just a pencil we can buy uh, 10 more pencils like that we cannot say we have to respect you know the value they have kept for that particular pencil it may be a small thing it may not have any value okay but even though we have to respect their feelings their values their attitudes views about themselves and the values they kept for the uh, small object also we have to respect the next is the concept of social responsibility so uh, here uh, we are many of the times we are not ready to take the responsibility because we are fear of pain instead we are always trying to avoid or we are always trying to blame others okay but individuals are responsible not only for their choices they make in their life they are also responsible for how they treat others okay when you are uh, getting treated in a different way you are automatically feeling hurt when you treat other people in the same way no we are we are not thinking how much it hurts them mm? uh, so uh, that also should be considered and gestural therapy encourages the idea that all people are equal and should be treated equally here all people are equal and should be treated equally uh, it demands respect for all people and so we have to start taking the responsibility we have to acknowledge the truth uh, we have to take the responsibility for our own actions and accepting our fault uh, no accepting our own life situation as they are without blaming others is very very important why do people choose to blame others not taking the responsibility because uh, 
they are not having maturity once you started to take the responsibility uh, I, uh, not for everything whatever you have done whatever happened in your life it is your responsibility you have you have uh, you have let something to happen in your life if we deeply think about the uh, things happened in our life it may be happy one or it may be a sad one or sometimes we may be the reason for uh, that thing to happen to our life so we have to take we have to learn to take the responsibility um sometimes uh, people say i feel guilty that i couldn't do this instead of saying that i feel guilty that i couldn't be with my child okay instead i can say that i demand i wanted to be with my child apart from uh, all my busy schedules i wanted to be with my child i am responsible for my child i am responsible for this uh, for this uh, uh, this thing happened in my family so uh, i know these things are my responsibility when i realize my responsibility i make things in a proper way without disturbing our mental and physical health and also without disturbing others health so next thing is the concept of relationship in gestalt therapy uh, you know many of the times we are developing a relationship without making a complete understanding about the person if you are keeping a book very close to your eyes like you know the book touching your eyebrows can you see can you read we cannot read like that when we get attracted to some person it may be a male or a female or the attraction might have happened because of various reasons okay automatically we are bringing the person close to our heart okay uh, actually uh, that is not required we have to keep everyone uh, at a particular distance and then we have to observe understand and then we have to develop a relationship so uh, another thing you know uh, uh in in a family if one person uh, is having depression or stress for example if a father is well depressed or stressful then he uh, he'll be restless he'll be creating you uh, know shouting at people shouting at others and he'll be creating a lot of problem in the house and that uh, stress will transfer to the mother to the child to their parents and to everyone in the family so we have to understand that each one is responsible to take care of others mental health that is very very important we form relationship from the day we are born okay uh, so <coughs> we cannot avoid such kind of relationship but we have to take the responsibility the responsibility that uh, if someone in our family is getting stressed out or getting burned out no that is our responsibility to take care of them if we are not attending to that then we will also go into that category so relationship related problems are one of the common uh, thing in uh, gestalt therapy here uh, relation is considered as a central of human experience and uh, gestalt therapy con- considers individual as whole when they have good relationship with themselves and with others so gestalt therapy is uh, is about wholeness that we all know so here uh, it uh, it considers an individual as whole when the person is having good relationship with Uh, himself and with other people around him so uh, this gestalt approach also helps uh, uh, the people to be aware of themselves as well as uh, it create awareness uh, about how you know uh, how their relationships are what kind of relationship they are having are they healthy relationship uh, are they going in a right path all that um, is guided by gestalt therapy uh next is field theoretical strategy so field is a person's environment we all know field is a person's environment so field therapy is a psychological therapy which examines the patterns of interaction between the individual and to his environment so uh, uh, field therapy includes the idea that every person holds different experience for a situation so no two people experience of an event will be similar it'll be different okay it leads uh, to the idea that no two experiences are the same for the person because uh, the field the environment that we are living is constantly changing this field theory actually created by kurt Le- uh, levin uh, he is a german born psychologist so he viewed that social environment as a dynamic field with which impacted in an 
interactive way with human consciousness so your uh, behavior is a function of a person in an environment if there is no self there is no others so when there, there is no others there is no environment when there is no environment we won't get any stimulus from the environment and we we won't develop any behavior uh it's that uh, the person's behavior cannot be viewed in isolation from the situation in which he lives okay uh so uh, most of the times if we uh, we should not be uh, in a stressful environment uh, if we should not we do not want to live in a stressful environment what we have to do is we have to create our environment we try to change our env- environment without uh, without uh, making you no know, uh, harm to others without disturbing others so we have to create our environment that can be help us and uh, with that we can live uh, peacefully so if, if in my workplace if i don't uh, if i if i feel that if i talk to that particular person that uh, you know that uh, takes away my mental health now i avoid that so i won't i keep the people who can uh, spread the positive energy to me the negative energy or threatening kind of people and all we can avoid uh so that we can create our own environment we can create our own field so <coughs> can uh, we cannot uh, no uh <coughs> sorry so uh, in gestalt therapy individual and their behavior are viewed or explored uh, based on their environment so in gestalt therapy we always talk about the ground and figure ground and figure uh, no uh, when we are having a if we are having a black color wall and we keep black color uh, sofa or black color table can we see the difference will, will that be attractive so based on the background the chair the black color chair can be seen or uh, no uh, maybe looking attractive if i change the background if i change the background into a uh, white color and if i keep the black color uh, chair in that see now the chair is more visible so we have to this chair can be considered as a behavior uh, uh, it may be good or bad but that is based on the background so uh, that is what this uh, field theory is insisting in gestalt next one is mindfulness in gestalt therapy uh, we you all m- m- may be having very good understanding about what is uh, mindfulness is mindfulness from the picture is, itself you can understand the two persons are walking one is thinking about so many uh, no uh, family life uh, family and workplace and lot of work he is having lot of things he is thinking and the another one is just uh, living in the present he is looking at the trees and he is thinking about those trees only he is not thinking about other other thing this this uh, uh, this picture itself explains very clearly what is mindfulness is all about so mindfulness is a state of active open attention on the present uh, when you are on mindful you can carefully observe your thought you can carefully observe your feelings and you will know what you are currently doing without judging them Okay, that is more important. So mindfulness means living in the moment and awakening to your current experience rather than dwelling on the past. As I said earlier, the gestalt therapy is, is focusing only on the uh, present event, present context, present experience. In the same way, they are using the mindfulness also in gestalt therapy. Uh, so uh, rather than dwelling on the past or anticipating the p- future uh, the person can experience the current moment so lot of studies uh, no lot of studies done on lot of population has indicated that practice of mindfulness is strongly correlated with greater well being and perceived health so if you are eating you have to eat, focus on what you are eating okay uh if you are watching tv you should only focus on you no know, uh, the visuals that you uh, you are seeing from the tv when you are eating thinking about a lot of factors you know then it is not mindfulness you have to enjoy your food we are living for this food no we have to enjoy our food while we are studying if we focus only on the studies and we are ignoring all other uh, simulations or all other uh, no um, uh, 
past experiences keep keep on if we uh, you know playing everything in our minds we cannot concentrate on our study so we have two persons inside us one person is so kind and the person aggressive and all the time we are you know aggressive assertive okay another person is calm very kind okay but most of the times we are always feeding the aggressive side of us we are not uh, no we are not uh, giving more focus to calm and kind person so when you feed uh, the aggressive person by always no getting tensed for whatever happens around you and shouting at people or getting irritated and all that if happens uh, no that uh, really spoils your mental health that creates more stress and it leads to depression and it leads to more more of uh, mental health issues so what we have to do is we have to feed the uh, the aggressive angry person who is staying inside us how we can feed we can practice mindfulness we can do meditation through that we can calm the person so next uh, i'm going to talk about some of the techniques that can be helpful uh, to manage your stress so the first technique is empty chair te techniques the techniques that i'm going to uh, discuss now is all about um, it is all uh, from the gestalt therapy so the first one is empty chair technique <coughs> so uh, here deep rooted emotional problems from someone or something in their lives can be treated with empty chair technique okay here uh, you can see in the picture that one person is sitting another Uh, yes yes would you like to have some water and proceed okay. the throat is getting please take some water okay thank you thank you okay so here uh the person can switch from one chair to another chair okay if i don't like uh, a particular personality of myself that i have if i don't like and i like my very uh, smooth uh, very calm personality then i know i wanted to uh, uh, behave in a calm way i wanted to be very kind to others but most of the time i realize i am realizing that i am i am uh, getting angry so i wanted to uh, talk to my angry person so in that case what can i what can i do i can sit in one chair and i can be very calm and i can uh, you know pretend like talking to the uh, talking to someone who is sitting the someone is part of me is sitting in the another chair i can talk like you know uh, i can ask why you are getting angry what is your problem uh in what are the situations you are getting angry no you can give a self therapy kind of thing you can talk to yourself but you you will be having you have uh, actually split your personality okay keeping one good personality in one chair and keeping another personality in another chair and you can talk to yourself until you are finding out figuring out how to solve how to come out of uh, your problem on your own okay and uh, in uh, the, using this technique we can also do unfinished business okay we can reach out to the person from the past if we have some unfinished business with someone who still uh, there in our mind and still they are irritating us still their thoughts are uh, no uh, uh, is not allowing us to live the present life then we can reach out to that person from the past using this technique okay we can consider that that person is sitting in the other chair we can sit in one chair and we can consider that other person is sitting in another chair and we we can talk to ourselves and we can take the role of that person uh, sometime and we can to take the role of us and we can talk we can finish the business so we can work uh, with the feelings of dip, depression we can work with the feeling of uh, anger with this technique so through this technique we will be get in touch with our own emotions okay this technique is actually most beneficial for the people uh, no those who are finding it difficult to express their emotions okay so um, if the person if they are not uh, no they are not very uh, expressive very introvert 
they can use this technique they can talk to themselves or uh, they can talk to, they can uh, pretend like talking to the person with whom they have not you know they they have some kind of uh, uh, feelings they can talk they can use this technique uh we can uh, reach to our deep feelings we can voice our feelings out okay as a result as a result you, you can feel better you know you can uh, you can solve your all your troubles and all your problems with this technique if you are talk if you are feeling like talking to someone who is who had some problem with you or if you are afraid to talk to some person you can use this technique as well there uh, you can talk to the person as many times as possible and uh, you can get out of the anxiety you may have towards a person then you can make the actual conversation with that person indirect so if i if i am very much afraid to talk to my boss i can use this technique no i i may be very angry for his uh, in, he might have done something injustice i may be very angry so in that case what i can do i can use this technique and i can talk to the uh, i can talk to i can talk to him using this technique and no after talking talking i'll get some understanding my angry and my other emotions the heightened emotions will reduce a bit and then if i go and talk uh, it will be no it will be uh, it will give a, a, a some pleasant experience so it won't spoil the uh, situation i can handle the situation very well after uh, using this technique it is not only for two person we can if we want if, if we are feeling like uh, talking to more people we can keep two three chairs also and we can talk to everyone we can play the role of others the next one is ex exaggeration and repetition so exaggeration is no uh, like you know intensifying some moment or verbal expression okay if a, if a person is uh, saying certain statement two three times if you are noticing that the person is uh, saying some depressing statement or it may be a uh, some stressful statement you can make the person to repeat the statement several times if he is talking in louder voice we can make them we can ask them to speak more louder if the person is sharing about very sad situation the person can with the low voice we can uh, ask the person to uh, uh, talk about it with little more lower voice so that is exaggeration and repetition we can ask them to repeat the same thing so if they are making any movements like you know uh, tapping or uh, drawing something on the paper uh, we have to ask the, the therapist they will be asking you know what feelings are associated with that movement what why uh, what is the factor behind this behavior what is the factor behind this what what is the what is the, what is the things are lying behind this statement what are the things are lying behind this movement that we can ask and understand and uh, next is guided imagery and fantasy so uh, the guided uh, imagery and fantasy is for thing on mental images in order to evoke feelings of relaxation okay uh, this guided imagery is also known as visualization and it is a technique in which a person Im images you no know, imagines the pictures sounds smells and other sensations associated with reaching a goal they'll be uh, you no know, you can we can uh, practice to ourselves you no know, we can close our eyes and we can take a deep breath uh we can imagine the scenery that we have seen already or we can uh, create our own world we can create our own scenery see whatever you want wherever you want place the garden place the flowers wherever you want to place some animals or nature you can imagine your own scenery and you you will be describing it whatever you are imagining you will be describing it uh so whatever you see whatever you you are hearing in in your in your scenery imaginative scenery whatever you are smelling or whatever you are uh, you know feeling all that you can talk so that uh, you know gives some good relaxation to your mind and also uh, in psychotherapy they ask the client to remember those visualizations okay uh, they ask to remember those visualizations whenever uh, possible they can also ask to improve the visualization 
uh, in uh, some more in a better way so that the person with stress uh, with depression they can relax themselves the next is supportive technique sorry suppressive techniques <coughs> suppressive technique so uh, suppression that undesirable emotions can be eliminated or minimized through this technique uh, suppression sometimes sometimes it may be viewed negatively but when we are thinking about something really not wanted for our, our life that kind of emotions can be eliminated it is good to be eliminated so if we uh, use the suppressive technique eliminating the undesired emotions unwanted things you no know, it uh, gives better regulation to your mood it reduces your stress you will be feeling you no know, under control so an action a deep seated belief or uh, a verbal expression or memory of the tragic past can be suppressed using this technique um how we can start this suppressive technique we, we first have to feel you uh, know do do nothing give yourself the feeling of nothingness okay then you try to draw whatever is important to your life see we can draw a wonderful picture if you are provided the plain paper it's a already drawn paper if Uh, if you ask to make something no the originality of the paper gets spoiled right so we have to start from nothingness then that is called ground that is called ground in gestalt uh, therapy uh, then we can draw a figure whatever is important to you whatever is not required that can be suppressed that brings desirable changes in you and uh, <coughs> and no any changes if you want to make what you have to do is we have to resist something so change cannot happen automatically change no lot of lot of times we will be repeatedly doing something because our brain are programmed in that way so we will be repeatedly doing the same thing you know, like uh, waking up uh, at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning the same thing we do even if we think of getting up at 5 o'clock and going for exercises we won't do most of the time but what how we can change we have to resist something when you resist the change will happen and we have to avoid aboutism aboutism is nothing but we have to uh, no avoid opinion of others feelings and ideas when it is not no sometimes the people come and give you uh, the ideas and opinions they, they won't just give they will uh, write in your brain they'll make you believe certain things that is not true so that kind of things no if you feel that the particular person is uh, creating some um, uh, no uh, creating some problem to your mental process no he is making you to think something very deeply unnecessarily when you feel you should avoid those kind of person and then uh, the last one is working with unfinished business in gestalt psychology when any aspect of your life is let hanging we call it as unfinished business right so <coughs> uh uh no uh, we can use uh whatever techniques i said for example empty chair uh, technique or um, fantasy and uh, uh, imaginary and all that techniques you can use to finish the business which are unfinished some common experiences that are attached to unfinished business are um abuse suffered at the hands of primary caregivers like sometimes from parents or stepmothers stepfathers and the difficult endings of romantic relationships and death of important person all these are uh, coming under unfinished business so uh, how we, you can handle you cannot go to the past and you can it cannot change but as a, as an adult we have the responsibility uh, to live in the present and to change the past we have to we cannot blame you no know, all the time after becoming uh, an adult uh, after 30 years after 40 years we cannot uh, uh, say that you no know, uh, this things happened in my childhood that's why i am like this. you understood this things happen in your life and still you are behaving the uh, same way after and, and after you have complete understanding of what happened to you as an adult we have to 
try to make some changes, try to make some improvement in our process based on these techniques, this uh, fantasy and uh, um, empty chat technique really helps a lot in uh, working with unfinished bills. And I, and, um, I believe that the, the most, most of the time, the stressor, you know, who, you know, we are the stressors. We only creating sometimes if you uh, deeply think about your problems, you know, deeply think about the things happening in your life. If you deeply think you will get an answer, the final answer may be you. You might have created this situation to your life. So we have to take the responsibility. We have to modify, uh, you know, prevention is always better than cure. So uh, uh, we have to be carefully, uh, you know, do everything in our life. Uh, we have to guide our children also. And this mindfulness, you know, from the childhood, we have to uh, teach our children. So they'll, uh, they'll have very good control, uh, very good concentration. Uh, you know, they can uh, uh, plan their future on their own uh, in a, great way thank you chandra madam thank you so much i'm here ma'am i'm just talking sharing and yeah. okay so it was so beautiful in the flow and the content man. we enjoyed really very well i hope the participants too have enjoyed it thank you so thank now you. it's time for uh, now it's time for discussion. If the participants would uh, like to ask questions to the resource person, you're most welcome. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, it was a wonderful session, ma'am. Uh, uh, thanks, Insidus. My question is, ma'am, could you just explain again the suppressive techniques, ma'am? Suppression technique. What you said? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. <laughs> In we can suppress the actions that we have already done, uh, the memory of some tragic past. We can suppress undesirable emotions that are not making you to live uh, fullest to the present. Okay? Sometimes we are holding the past we are no more living in the past we are living in the present so uh, something that is uh, preventing you to live fullest in the present moment you no know, those kind of emotions must be eliminated or minimized through our effort you can do meditation to uh, suppress those things unnecessary things uh, and uh, no you can start with complete nothingness like a plain slate so that you can add you no know, whatever is important to your life you can add and you can live the present moment are you hearing me i can hear you ma'am very well okay okay yeah, thank you for your answer, ma'am. Is there any other yeah, ma'am? Uh, ma'am, again, uh, the same thing. In suppression technique, uh, ma'am, you explained that you just take the plain paper and ask the client to draw something, no, ma'am? Uh, what we have to... Uh... Drawing means, no. Like, for example, I said, in plain paper only we can draw. Okay. Okay, okay but like is said, it... We start with nothing. Okay. And we understood what is important to our life and we are focusing on what is important that can then okay. we can live to the present moment according to gestalt therapy okay it's so an example you have given okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah 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 thank you ma'am thank you thank you any other questions do we have for today for this session So I think there are no more questions now, ma'am. And also there is no question in the chat box. Okay. Uh, so let's share a few words from you to conclude the session. My video is closed. 
am i audible yes okay yes uh i think uh, uh, i thought when i was receiving the topic from dr jansi psychotherapeutic technique i have a more specific on cognitive and behavior component and it is an holistic i can say and it is a need of our yes we are talk there are many people who claim as a psychotherapist if we ask them how many sub component therapies are there they may not aware about it if they attended here today and they may get an holistic that, that what need to be done in the psychotherapy exactly and i enjoyed your session dr jansi and uh, uh, i again uh, what of the topic we are saying to dr jansi is an excellent in, in preparation and consistent in the concept it is very important see when we understand the concept then only we can able to uh, present it to other members that that quality i can see again that is my personal appreciation for that component thank and, you thank you uh, yeah and and regarding that examples i can able to connect there are certain sometime there are some examples given by the expert i couldn't connect with with personal uh, activities so uh, really really nice examples for today's presentation thank you dr janti and uh, dear participant and uh, if you have any questions you can ask her at any any time i think you may have the contact number uh, she is uh, very studious and uh, curious for learning a fuller share thank you dr jens thank you sir thank you uh, thank you jansi ma'am for being here with us for this wonderful talk and now uh, it's time for dr preeti she is at another sweet resource person i have heard her before so it is a chance for all of us to listen to her to introduce about her she is a bangalorean and she has moved to chennai and bombay from where she has started her uh, alternate medicine and first she started with learning pranic healing and crystal therapy and then she learned several healing techniques like back flower remedies seed therapy and she has uh, learned her acupuncture from alternative medicine sri lanka she has a master of also past life regression therapy she has learned that from a direct disciple of dr brian ways most of you must know him now she is practicing uh, healing and she is helping people to come out of their problems related to physical mental and spiritual attachments and uh, she has tailored her treatment to each patient to make sure that they receive the best out of it so she is doing incredible healing job and now we are going to experience a little bit of it thank you dr preeti for being here now the session is to you thank you good evening to all namaste that was a uh, so sweet of chandra <laughs> putting the uh, talking about my intro and thank you sir suresh sir it was wonderful opportunity again working under you like whatever we know we are sharing your uh, it's a wonderful opportunity again to be in your team so just we all know now uh, so much about it and uh, there's a small request from my side i would like all the participants to keep your video on and we'll be having some activities too in this uh, so that's a small request from my side so we know a lot about the stress we don't have to talk about it now so we'll see how uh bark flower remedy and switch word i'd like to start with. and they both help in the using our stress you might be thinking wondering how this flower remedy and this thing can help yes they do help so welcome all how we can transform our stress through bark flower remedy and which word i'm bringing the slides parallelly so these are the uh, number of around 38 flower remedies are there and a lot of such words are there how they help us to heal you don't have to go through some uh, medicines or something just even if you don't have the flower remedy in your hand the beauty of it is even if you just hold a glass of water chant over it the name of the flower remedy for 5 minutes and you can just drink it it will help you so going to the origin of where the both comes from is dr edward bach is a british doctor um, 
He is the founder of all this 38 Park Club in Emily. Uh, he is not only a, a he found these remedies, he is also a homeopath and a bacteriologist, pathologist. He was actually working uh, remedies to heal people in his lab the, for the uh, British soldiers. But when he, uh, in, during some period, he was uh, diagnosed with some, he had an head injury and the surgery, they found out some malignant in him. They told him maybe two, three months is what he will be uh, alive. He was least bothered about his life. He's, he thought in that two, three, whatever the period is left for him, very short duration, two, three months, he has to put his maximum effort to find a remedy for his soldiers, for his countrymen. So that was his, he was not least bothered or fear or afraid of what I'll do, to only this much aspect, nothing. And as he was, he was so subtle, as he was, going towards certain plants, he could feel the uplift, the mood changing in him. Then he started working, he left all his lab and just started working more on this because he could feel there is some energy in the plant. And then he started collecting the dew drop, uh, which is present on certain flowers, which uh, sun rays has passed through it. He started collecting the dew drops of the flower. There was no any particular Part of the flower were never used. The energy of the flower were used on this. So the beauty of this energy is they work on four different layers of your body. It works on your physical, it works on your emotional, it works on your uh, mental, and it works on your spiritual plane of your, out of seven what we have, it works four. So if you see the root cause of most of our physical problems will be the emotion behind it, the thought process behind it. So they are all psychosomatic in nature. If you just change the thought process in you, you can see the changes happening in your physical body. Because we don't understand the, the thought process which is so subtle in nature, when it is just kept on, it's just on your body, like a parasite that is growing those negative emotions, they start showing it on your physical body. That is when we come to know, oh, I have this problem, I have the other problem, so and so. And we treat the symptoms of it. We don't go to the root cause of it. And so is the doctor, uh, when it comes to switch word, by Dr. James Mangan. He has wrote a book called uh, The Secret of um, Perfect Living. So after a lot of research, he has brought down a few uh, switch words. And he has told, they because every word has a frequency, isn't it? So the moment you change your frequency around your aura, there will be a change in your mood. There will be change in your healing. The healing starts happening. If you see, every planet has a frequency. And every god we have, that's why we have certain mantras for certain god, Bija mantra or elongated uh, Sastra Namas, anything you take. When you chant them, you can see the energy in you changing. You feel calm. You feel very composed. You feel relaxed. But if you start listening to certain jazz and all the rock music, you can see that variation happening in your mind. Suddenly, there is you, you are more energetic. The way the, the type of music you hear also will change your mood. Uh, whatever. For some, some people, certain frequency. If I tell my son, he'll say, no, ma, this music has really relaxes me. It'll be fast and thing. So, okay, for them, it chooses. <laughs> so they continue to do with this. So if you see, so stress was not something new to our Kali Yuga. It was there from Yuga after Yugas. Even Lord Rama and Lord Krishna were not spared out of stress. Lord Krishna, right from his birth, he had challenges. He had so much is uh, life was under danger so was lord rama even though they were avatars they have come down to take this to prove to human race yes you might get challenges and stress minute after minute but it all depends how you face it how you take it not only the bhagwans even the take the plants and animal kingdom also even they have challenges, that, but that challenges is what makes them much stronger. If you see the trees start, the moment there is a 
threat on the upper layer, the roots start going deeper and deeper to hold the plant. It's not only for the food and water they go deeper. Even when there is a threat, they want to hold the plant, entire plant strongly. They start moving deeper. And if you start see the even the salmon, the life cycle of salmon, they move uh, to the sea from the fresh water as a uh, tadpoles, they move, they become big in the sea water oceans. They again go back when they are mature, when they are about to uh, breed, they enter into the fresh water to spawn. Most of the salmon die after they are spawned there, and the little ones have no idea that their parents have come from the sea. But they do go, and coming back upstream is not a so easy path. Going down along with the stream, we all say go with the flow, it is so easy. But it's not so easy when you have to go upstream, facing all the challenges. And it's not an easy path, you know, from when you watch all the animal planet. People, I mean, the bears, they come, they have to face so many other things. Some might not have to push about. So not again, everyone reaches their birthplace. But those who reach, they again feed, breed, and they again die and the rest go back. So it's challenges. It's, if you start seeing every stress of you as a challenge and you want to overcome it, that's a beautiful opportunity God is giving you. When you ask for peace, God will not give you peace. He'll give you some strong how to be peaceful in that situation. So what you ask, it will be getting the opposite of it to make this more stronger. So as uh, Jansi was telling, we are carrying a lot of baggages of greed, hurt, hatred, jealousy, whatever it may be, uh, being cheated or whatever, take any baggage, negative baggage we are holding. So that makes us more heavy, isn't it? So you feel so dull sometimes, you don't feel like doing anything when you're stressed. So this is the best way I can say, when you have nothing, uh, you don't have to, don't press your always medicine. I know there is a way where like to a certain extent it will help you to reduce to come down. But this is the best way to let it down because there are people, uh, if you see in the back flower remedy, agrimony is a flower remedy which will help people to open up. There are many who don't open up. They wear masks. They might be so much of sadness in their heart, but they'll be wearing a mask of happiness on their face and doing their everyday course. And they, because one is they might be afraid by to whom to disclose their problem with. What if that person is again gossiping about their problems to somebody else? They don't want that to happen. So this is the best way. I would like all of you to take your pen and paper or pencil and paper. Write down, two minutes I'll give you, Write down completely, no usage of grammar. Don't think about grammar, line, rule, everything. Just pour out whatever is coming to your mind. Maybe it might be your fear or maybe an anger on somebody or maybe you have some financial issues or something. So just pour it and write it down in this piece of paper now. This is the best way to release your negative emotions from your body. If not, on a longer term, this might lead you to some physical ailment. This you can do it whenever you want, but here as a kind of, I thought we will make you do it. So we'll have an idea of how much it empties you from inside. Uh, hello, ma'am, can I ask something? Uh, so is yeah. it like uh, at present, how do we feel or how is that, ma'am? Or any yeah. past? Uh, Anything. Uh, just... You can do any past emotions of you which are long, uh, keeping it inside you. It may not be a present issue at all. It can be a long lost issue or whatever it may be, which you are not able to vent it out. You can take that and write it down. Okay, okay.
Dan All of you have done. Yes, ma'am. Now, you had, we are told to keep a matchbox also and a plate or any metal thing so that it doesn't spoil your floor or any other, your desk. How about now? Audible enough? Yeah, you're audible. Now burn that paper without even reading what you have written. Just burn them. Have you all burnt it? This is the best. best. It has been burnt, ma'am. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> you can throw them out or uh, put it in your toilet and flush it out. That's the best way because your energy through your aura, all your emotions pour out in the form of your alphabet and they are done. When you burn them, then fire has the ability to transform it. So they are done there from your soul. If you have to... Uh, kind of cleanse your subconscious right from your subconscious if the thoughts are again and again coming up so it's not just one time process you can do as many times as possible maybe every day or throughout the day what has happened something negativity has happened to you you want to rent out this is the best way to do it and flush it out so it's not the toxin where, where we throw the physical toxin through our toilet uh, through excretion this is another way of throwing our toxin from our body, mind, and subconscious. So again, when it comes to the other way of remedy is uh, both the bark flower and switch foot. These uh, few remedies I've taken, every remedy for out of 38, uh, every remedy there is something to heal you definitely. But uh, I've chosen few from here. A rescue remedy is like uh, SOS. It's for so many things that you, it is used. It's not only uh, for your stress and all. Uh, suppose you have a cut, a bleeding is happening. You can immediately put two drops of rescue remedy or burn or something. It immediately, it because it uh, when you have a cut, there is a shift in your mood. You're worried, you're afraid. 
or if it's a child, they might be crying out of fear. So many things, even the blood oozing out stops. It doesn't, uh, so much of blood loss will not happen. Like it's like a first aid remedy in the house. So definitely I would recommend everyone to have one bottle at least. And even you're traveling, it's like a, a travel safety when it comes to it. Because rescue remedy is a combination of five. Uh, even though the cherry plum, or uh, the second one is included in rescue remedy, uh, that's a wonderful remedy to have it at any time. Uh, it gives a lot of strength when you are having it every day. A lot of fear factors go off. Cherry plum is to, when you have the fear of losing your control of something. Uh, so what, uh, what will happen if my child is out of my uh, control or my spouse or anything? But in, in that process, we start buzzing. We kind of become very dominant person so that we should not lose control. So that kind of personality will, it, cherry plum will help. When it comes to white chestnut, when you see when there is a stress, a lot of mental argument will be happening in your mind. Kind of, uh, even for hallucination, white chestnut is an excellent remedy, along with other combinations sometimes. But that alone for your mental argument, when you don't know whom to speak about, a lot of things are nagging thoughts going in and around your mind. White chestnut is the best remedy. When it comes to impatience, people who are always in a hurry, they don't have time to even think before they talk or do some action before they, you know, always in a hurry to do something. And like most of the time it might land up in something wrong. Impatience, the name itself says it's for impatient. Large, large is a wonderful combination if your child or for anybody, you don't have that confidence to take up any task. Large is the best one to boost your confidence level. So at that time, when you're stressed, you won't, you will be losing all these values in you. You will not have confidence to take up any task or any new venture to do. I'm already suffering with loss. What what new thing I'll be going to try out? So, uh, even for the students who get score less marks, this is the best remedy. Oak is to understand your own limits. Sometimes we don't know to draw a boundary around ourselves. You might be like a, a workaholic who, who can't take time to stop and be with himself or herself. And that's the best idea. Uh, oak is the best remedy to take people who are like non-stop working round the clock. Star of breath is uh, this I have seen it works wonderful when you had a sudden shock uh, or your family has lost a member and this uh, corona period that would have been the best remedy because you, for you to come out of that shock that you lost a family member or somebody or some shocking news, that is the best remedy star of breath. And when you see those switch words are beautiful, why they are called switch words? Like suppose it's darkness, it's getting evening, no late. So it's darkness, what do you do? You put your switch on, right? So if it's hot, you put your switch uh, on for your fan and it starts working and you feel cool. So that is why he, um, James uh, marked it as switch words because the moment that one word with that some energy will just change that situation for you immediately. So you don't have to worry when you are outside, you don't even have a rescue room, I mean, back level remedy in your hand. Maybe you can immediately just chant that switch word for five to 10 minutes and you can feel the energy levels around you changing. Add is a master switch word uh, and he has given some master switch words which I'll be sharing. In uh, you all will be getting this uh, slide. If we have time, we can do it. Otherwise, you can always try whichever, uh, uh, what is that? You uh, belong to uh, the sun sign. You can choose that according to your date of birth and start using that master switch word for your sun sign and do it. That works wonderful. And so these are the not just words. They have some deep meaning in it. When you Google it, there are a lot of information on Google also. When you start doing this, you want peace, add BP. So add is a switch word, it immediately help you 
to things to change around you. So add B health. If you want health, you are losing your health or have any health issues, you can immediately chant. Maybe you're having some BP, even for BP and all, you can just, uh, if your BP has gone high, to so bring it down, you can just say tiny BP. Or if you don't, you don't know whether your BP is fluctuating high or gone down, you have not checked, you don't have medicine in your hand, you can just say adjust BP. For five minutes, again, you can see them coming down. These are the experiments which I have done with people and uh, we have tried it out and uh, we see it works wonderful. So add B success, you want to, whatever field you want, if you want it to be success, you can just start writing it before going to bed or you can even chant five minutes over a glass of water and drink it. Cancel done stress. Cancel is a, it's a, it's a word which we use for for that thing to not to happen. So you don't want stress, you want to cancel them. You don't want it coming to you. So cancel done, done is, it's happened now, to be in now for the stress to be done. So cancel gloom, another word for your mood, if you're in a gloomy chair, you can just chant this. Care around harmony. So dude, in this corona period, you could have seen everyone at home, a lot of uh, pollution happened because of a long period. You take somebody because after time when you all go out and come back, it's okay. You all kind of uh, adjust with the, each other and compromise. But all in one place, we know how, how the harmony of the house would have been uh, taken for a toss. So this works wonderful. And there is a combination in uh, Bakflava remedy also. There is some four or five combinations which just put it in the homeopathic pills and just sprinkle or keep it in your sofas and you know, uh, corners of your room or shelves. They work wonderful. And they don't uh, immediately dissolve those sugar pills when you add this combination of bark flower. Because I have done a two teenager boys and you know with the father, sons and how it happens. So it works wonderful. Change, add positivity. So again, for us, to whatever the situation you are, say in the negative stressed mode, you it is not so easy to immediately come out of it. But you only if you will, it will happen. I always say, um, I have a picture, I think I've not put it in this. Picture of two locks, there is no hole, but it has a key. The other one has a hole with a key. So even for the lock to open, that small opening should be there, no, for the key to go and to enter and to open that lock. So until you, when you only when you are open to certain changes you want to do in your life, then all these things work beautifully around you when you start. But when you're still, your mind is closed, you don't have faith in it, how this will all work. But you can always give it a try. You don't have to believe in me, but your, when it becomes your own experience, yes, then it adds more value to it. Um, These are the master switch words for the sun sign, zodiac sign. So whichever date of birth you belong to, you can take up that, chant it for five minutes over a glass of water and drink and just send me your feedback later how you feel about it. It is not that the other should not use the other words. It is definitely you can use all these words have frequencies and they do heal us. But it's something like yours. Your zodiac sign has your own thing. So that will help you a lot. Uh, you'll all be getting the PPT so you you can take a printout or keep it with you for what which is your sun sign and you can use it. This actually I wanted to do it because due to the time constraint, I thought you all can do it at your own time frame. Just close with a glass of water because your finger palms also have certain chakras. Not only apart from your major chakras, even your fingertips have chakras. That's why. Always, if you see the Rishi Munis also, you can see they used water to bless or to curse because the water absorbs the energy, the frequency immediately. There are experiments which have done the water when you 
speak ill in front of a water, the energy of that water is distorted and it is different. When you speak something good in front of a water, they form a beautiful hexagonal crystalline shape, which is very healthy. So that is why even in olden days, when you go to some people, the first thing is they'll give you water. Second thing is, uh, if the water is kept in front of you and you've been talking some gossiping or some good or bad of it, they will not reuse that water again. They will throw, they'll ask for a fresh water and then they will drink. They will not use the water which where the conversation has happened for a long time. That is why if you see even the salt, they also absorb a lot of energy. If you see the drishti and all, they used to take nazar with the salt and they will not keep a salt open anywhere. Even if it is kept in a jar, they generally keep it in a jar. Uh, the ceramic one, they won't keep it in the metal one. It will be in the plastic or ceramic where it will be closed. That's why they say immediately the salt because they absorb a lot of energy and you can't use them again if it is open for a long time. So this way you can charge by putting your palm over your glass of water and charge it and then drink. So you can see the mental frequency changes immediately when you chant the switch words or when you take a bath flower remedy because they work on four different layers. And if it is as a pill, I would always recommend my clients to put it under your tongue because when they melt and they go in directly to your blood capillaries and into your bloodstream. So it immediately works on your not like your pill where you have to swallow and it has to get digested your stomach can then get into your bloodstream it's like taking an injection shot under your tongue so if you see the bark flower is not only used for human rays it is even for animals and plants uh, there are certain combinations for rain to come there are certain combinations for the rain that there is a flood to stop also and this i have tried myself uh, in one peak summer in uh, i just because without me trying i cannot give it no no to others just like that i can't say you try uh, i have this remedy you try no i tried each and every remedy all the 38 and i've been uh, uh, this rain also i I chanted some three cycles of 108. By the time I'm coming from the other side of my, I live in the foothills of a mountain. On the other side, exactly just on that mountain above, I could see a black cloud formation and so much of rain pouring for next two days. That is when I thought, oh my God, it was not just like that something is given to us. And these were given so many years back these two gems. And uh, I've used, uh, my dog once had, uh, he was so frightened for a thunder. It was huge thunder. So it was, uh, it was puppy and uh, immediately I gave him a rescue remedy, even though it was like irritating him. He was sneezing a lot and so irritated because I gave the remedy, but he was able to calm down with it. So you can give for animals and the beauty of the bark flower remedy is there is no side effect. Maybe that combination might work for you or it will just not do anything. So that is how even for the plants, if you see when you bring them from the nursery or bring them from your friend's place, the soil is you have uprooted, they'll be in a state of shock. So you can give them certain flower remedies to calm them and they start growing very well when you want. So uh, as I told you, it is not only for health uh, related issues, bark flower remedy and uh, switch words, we use it for situations also. And for immunity, this is the best because this home, home, boom, jum, saha, this balances your all the panchaprana body immediately. And when you have fever or when you are somebody is not well, I've given this to many of my clients and their relatives, if they tell somebody is hospitalized, it's an emergency, I just tell them you chant half of them, or if they can do it, much better. Or we give a circle technique. 
then it is it's they are all like uh, distant heat. It, it immediately brings calms them down. You can see if there is even a fever, it just mellows down. Uh, for fever, uh, I think I've not given you home re saha that reduces your heat in your body, the fever, and it brings it down. Traffic jam. So those who are in Chennai, I think Chennai, Bangalore, Mumbai, and all wherever you feel your traffic jam, you're stuck, you're getting late. Try this over move traffic. It's the best for traffic jam. So those who want to give it a try, please try. When you keep chaving over Muon is there's no stagnant situation. Traffic is nothing but stagnant of movement, isn't it? Of vehicles. So there will be no stagnant of movement. And halfway is to happen fast. We all are belong now to the fast generation. We want everything fast, but fast, fast, fast. So you can use this over Muon halfway. So this halfway can be, you can use, you can try doing your own search words. Something in your work is getting stagnant. You can add that work of whatever it is, that word, and use the word halfway to it. They also help a lot. And to reduce your expenses. So you know in your family, one or the other might be a spender. So you can put to them this combination or as a pretend this that reduces your expenses or when it's happening more. Uh, the mustard, no wild. Change divine order is a, again a switch word, uh, which is used along with the backflower combinations generally. It is to change that divine order, to bring into the divine order, to change that situation where the more, ex it can be used only, not only for expenses, for a lot of things. You want to change something, negativity is happening, or something is not at all happening, you can use the word change divine order. So the divinity means your energy or your aura will start um, come in line with the divine order which is destined for us. And to buy a house, Sarato, Mimulus, find divine, new house now done. So, Sarato and Mimulus are two combinations where you don't uh, lose a lot of money, where it comes perfectly what is needed to be there. Neither you spend more or nor you lose to buy a house. Sometimes you see you would have bought it for a higher price, even though that's not the value of house or land. So if it's a house, you can use the word house. If it's, you're going to buy a land, you can use the word land instead of a house. Self-protect. This is taken from our uh, Vishnu Sahasranama, Dr. Balakumar, Narayana says, Om Jum Saha Saha Jum Om is a golden armor protection. It is like a golden shield for you. So when you know your children are studying, out or when they have to step out or your, your family member somebody is they are not with you outside thing for study purpose or for purpose. you can chant this on behalf of them and uh, visualize a golden armor around them and this is an excellent uh, protection remedy and to locate a lost item so you can you know most of us even though we would have thought we have kept it in a very safe place, but we'll be searching for that only later. So you can uh, chant a serato, rock water, chestnut, bat, or you can take these combinations uh, inside ORP and start searching for your item. The other switch word for this is, you can just use the word reach and that object. Maybe it's your keys. Uh, so you can use the word reach keys and search for it. You will reach. And stop to stop snoring. Um, most of the spouses who have a snoring, a spouse will use this elm chikori every morning. And feeling of failure. You can use it as yeah, gentine is the uh, a remedy where you can take when you feel like whatever you do, nothing is happening. Uh, it is always failure. And this failure, what happens? It blocks you from taking another step. So with the large, with the combination of this gentine and large also, you can take them. 
Oh, and uh, you uh, you might be coming over people who shy, who doesn't want to show, uh, socialize. You can give them a combination of stimulus and all that. And uh, as I said, this is the switch word for rain or water scarcity. Um, this definitely works because I put the pills, a combination of this into my uh, water tank and touch wood, there is no water scarcity. There is some, somehow some, just keep getting the water, either through the rainwater or the uh, the normal water, whatever we are getting. There is a continuous flow of water. So sweet chestnut, wild rose chestnut, but rock rose. You can find this for water scarcity, drought situation, and for, to get rain. Study pack. This is the best combination you where you can give it to your children. Uh, water violet. Water violet will make the child whatever they are focusing on to be more chestnut bud. Uh, oak, as I said, to not only the other situation where we spoke of oak uh, to understand your own limits. Here it helps them to know they are subject more well. Chestnut bud. If you see certain children. They'll be repeating the same kind of mistakes again and again. So that will help them to stop the chestnut bud. Cleranthus to remove the lethargy in them. And a horn beam to listen to the lecture or the teacher, whatever. When, because after time, the student might be in their own world. They might not listen, even to the parents. Parents can use when your child is not listening to you or uh, you can use the horn beam as the best combination because this we generally uh, sprinkle or spray in the uh, the nursery uh, children. And that's the first day of their school. And the first time they are entering the school, many will be afraid, crying. This calms them down. The energy of the horn beam calms them down. Harmony pack. This is the pack which I was talking about. Beach, willow, agrimony, walnut. Chicory and rescue remedy. These combinations you can always make it, put it in a buy it, put it in a spray bottle, and you can spray it all around your house once a week or whenever you feel there is a necessity. So now if you see if you want to see the brave, look at those who can forgive. And yes. If you want to break the bondage, forgiveness is not for others. It is for you to free yourself from the bondage where you are carrying the baggage with those persons. Maybe physically you are single, but mentally you are carrying all those people whom you like and whom you don't like, or who have hurt you uh, more than the love. It's a hurt which bothers us more, and we might be uh, thinking about them, why they did this, why they did this. When you think of that person, your energy cord is connected to that person and you are linked to them automatically, whether you want it or not, when you think of them. So this forgiveness does a beautiful job. We'll just take, you can either write all their names whom you want to forgive, or if it's just one or two, you can just uh, visualize them in front of you. Close your eyes. I'll just guide you through a small, simple process you can use it later and you can use it daily. Take up as a sankalpa for 21 days or 48 days and do this. Um, you can close your eyes. You can say, now I, if I'm, I have to do forgiveness to somebody, you can use your own name. I, Preeti, forgive you. You can use a person name. If it is many, you can use forgive you all. Please. Forgive me, release me, together divine thanks. So you can use your respective names against the people, one or many, and you can do it now. I'll give you one minute of time. I, your name, Preeti, forgive you all. Please forgive me. Release me together, divine thanks. You 
you can repeat this phrase again and again. And you can visualize all the people in front of you. And visualize a white light entering them and you simultaneously. It is like cleansing all those unwanted memories which are carrying against them. I, your respective name, forgive you all. Please forgive me. Release me together divine. You can feel that white light is cleansing both you and the other person or person fully as if you are taking a shower under that white light and it is cleansing you totally and you feel a sense of relaxation. If you are done, say a big thank you to them, those who have come. As soon as you call, those energies of that person will be available to you. So, coming to our the last slide, gratitude. End of the day, the gratitude matters a lot. We don't know how much to say, only thank you to God for giving us so much of opportunity through the person who loves you and through the person who troubles you. Person who troubles you, you learn how not to be like that one way and learn what is the lesson I want to learn from this, the trouble I'm getting. Should I let go? What is that my attitude? So if you see, you, it is impossible to feel grateful and depressed in the same way. How true it is. When you are depressed, you cannot be grateful. But when you start thinking of what all the goodness you have got in your life so far, turn back and see even some negative uh, situation in your life would have been there if something positive would have happened, maybe there would have been a lot of difficulty. There's a lot of, but we, at that moment, we see that as a trouble to us and we see people who troubled us are troublesome and we hate them, we carry all those things. So God has given us a lot of things what we need. So once you start surrendering to that divinity, what you see is only gratitude. You can say thank you to the Lord for everything. Something good, something bad. Because you learn through the bad you embrace all your good memories, you let go your negativity. That is where you give more space for positive, beautiful energy of the divine to grace you and guide you through the process, whatever your soul journey or your goal might be. So you can take two minutes to say gratitude to all the people in your life, right from your parents, the nature, the divine, the sibling. We all take birth. We choose our parents. We choose our sibling for certain. And people around us, we choose our spouse. Everything. If you read the book, uh, Cosmic Cradle, it's a wonderful book. 
where in you know, I'll just finish in a, a two minute or something, where a soul is about to enter, take birth. So the divine is asking the soul, uh, you have to choose. Okay, you've chosen your parents. There is a spouse you have to choose who will be abusive. You want verbal or physical. So this soul is not ready to learn the lesson through hard way. So the uh, spouse, uh, the soul chooses, no, no, I want to work abusive. I don't want physical, I can't handle it. So, and the soul, the, the path journey, the soul has chosen so and so things to happen. So there is a, a, a accident which has to happen in your life. What kind of, which body part do you choose to break? Which you choose. See, the choice is given to us till the time we are born. And we choose that the soul chooses, okay, oh, which body part? You have to choose the, no, you know, you're going to get it. The soul knows everything. So the soul chooses, okay, I'll choose my hand. So that this soul has chosen as a feminine birth. You want that is there also you are asked male or female body. Female body. Because you're pampered, you get a lot of no, uh, the thing and thing knows the uh, female and female birth. I have a lot of uh, chances, a lot of uh, what brownie points must because even the dresses you see for the girls are so many, the varieties. So you love to be born as a female soul. So she has chosen as female, she has chosen the spouse or as a, as a verbal abusive one. And for the thing, she chooses hand. So at the age of 15, when she was playing uh, shuttle or badminton or something, she broke and she had a, she gets a fracture. And the divinity asks, okay, your death is by an accident. Uh, which, which, uh, what type of accident do you want to choose? It's not a natural birth, I mean death. So, so what do you choose? Okay, she chooses, okay, I'll choose a car crash accident. So that is how, see, even when there is a cra crash happening, the soul knows it's going to leave its body even before the physical body is a the crash accident has happened. They leave the body, so it is only the physical body which is hurt. The soul knows and it just exits the book. You can read the Cosmic Cradle. It's an amazing book. A lot of that's when you know how much you choose and you have come. So much of choices given to us. So only thing is one and. Once you are born in this Maya, the world is full of illusion and you are so engrossed in this beautiful world, you forgot your goal. You don't know which path to take. So the best is to surrender and you know the divinity guides you what you have chosen. It just gives you all hints at the possible way and where you choose the right thing for you. And when you choose the divine path and it is things with it, then you see your your life will be so smooth, you won't feel that distressful. Even any challenges coming, you won't feel stressful. You'll take it as a challenge and do it. And the large, bark flower large is the best, which will help you to overcome even the challenges. And without any complaint, you start doing that challenge, whatever comes to you. So thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, whatever, you, there's a lot more. If you allow me, I'll be talking. Uh, so I'd like to conclude here. Thanks. Wonderful opportunity for giving to me. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for such clever remedies and the switch words. Personally, I would like to say that I have used, uh, I've attended to one of your session elsewhere. I don't remember where, but then I tried using your uh, switch word reach, you know, Few weeks ago, I just forgot where I kept the important dog. It's really important, and I wanted to just you know try and see whether it works. It happened that way, but you know, I reached the document with that, so I'm happy to say that it works. So every yeah. one of us can try it and then believe it happens and the magic occurs. You know, so it's nice, and I'm going to try different things that you have shared with us today. So now it's time for the part. Uh, thank you for the wonderful session, ma'am. And uh, uh, my daughter is, uh, uh, see, see uh, for snoring, uh, we are telling the word chicory and all you said, okay. 
So I have a doubt that what is the mechanism behind that, ma'am? How that word chikri is influencing? So JP chikri you said no, ma'am. Chikri, yeah, it is a flower extract. Okay, it's not it a is... word. So it's a in the slide you showed uh, all the. Yeah, things. you can use it as a word also. Okay, but uh, is there any mechanism behind that, ma'am? By saying this, the word chikari, how it is influencing the change? Okay, so uh, because the physically it's uh, producing some changes, means what is the mechanism? Is there any uh, specific mechanism behind that? Yeah, they do help. Uh, can you mute me? Yeah. Uh, thank you. So yes, they, uh, as I told you, they work on your physical, emotional, uh, and mental plane and spiritual plane. They do certain changes in your frequency in your body, which helps that snoring to come down. There are seed therapy also to help you to your snoring to come down. It has worked on uh, some of my clients. They have come out of it. So you can give it a try. I said you can use it as a word because when, if you don't get the uh, flower remedy available in your vicinity, you can, for the immediate effect, you can use it over a glass of water or chant that and then go to give it to the person. Or you can buy the, it's, uh, I generally buy from 1MG or uh, NetMeds, whatever. There are certain uh, few homeopathy shops in your particular region, you have to try it out. Uh, they might have the bath flower remedies. You can take it as a liquid or you can take it as a pill from the shop and they do, uh, you can utilize them. If you're taking it as a liquid, if you're taking as a liquid, you are buying as a liquid, use uh, in one liter, 10 drops of each, and you, you can keep sipping it. The other way is use uh, in a quarter glass of water, or in you can use it in your tea, coffee also, uh, just three, three drops for three times a day, each remedy of that combination, whatever it is. They will help you a lot. How many days we can use, ma'am? So uh, three times a uh, day. You can uh, you can use it till you see the the symptoms. Are, uh, yeah. Yes. Generally, I will prefer three to six months. You give it a try, but there are so many things within few uh, uh, few uh, sessions itself they come down. It uh, reduces. So you, but you can still continue there because there is no harm in it. It has no side effects, so it'll never harm you. You can use it. And you can stop, you give it a try. You can do the trial and error method with this. So there is no harm in it. Any other question do we have to ask to Dr. Preeti? I think this is really a new one coming up in alternative medicine, uh, yeah. only once yeah. we can try and start believing it, then it's going to be like really of good use to us. So thank you, Dr. Preeti, for being present here and having shared your experiences and taught us something really nice today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Vipna, you. Have you got to say some closing words for today? It's uh, very nice hearing to Dr. Preeti's session. And uh, like uh, Preeti was telling about uh, how she uses uh, homeopills and the back uh, remedies. Usually, uh, as homeopaths, we definitely do take the uh, help of back flower remedies uh, for soothing effects. So if we have any patients who are anxious or uh, people who need that soothing and calming effects, uh, so sometimes uh, we have uh, certain conditions where they will be having a lot of pain, physical pain. So, uh, uh, most of the painkillers uh, will not have that much of effect for them to relax. Uh, so yes. that's where back flower remedies come into action for them to you know, have that uh, physical as well as psychological yeah. pain relief. Uh, thank you so much, Preeti. You have like, covered the entire uh, no, uh, domain of uh, back, back flower remedies. And I'm really happy that you did that. and. Um, I'm hopeful uh, the participants would make much use of it. And uh, no, you can um, try to incorporate small, small things in your life so that it will definitely make a huge difference. Uh, so change need not always be in a bigger scale. Even small things that you incorporate in life will make a huge difference. So thanks once again. Thank you.
you so much. Hare Krishna. Just believe that nature is always at its best until unless human beings disturb them. So with that nicer note, let's finish this uh, day and wish you all a great time ahead. See you sometime soon. And the other participants, we'll meet tomorrow at 6 p.m. for Dr. Veena's session on biomedical approaches for stress management. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.